Stretch. Punya. This is the low high roundhouse tutorial with Susie. Hi. We're excited to have her here. We're gonna do some great work today. I want you up on your feet doing this with us. Please make sure that you are working at whatever Susie does you do. It's a good chance to practice skills. I want you to watch this video over and over again so you get more confident with what you're doing. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, this is the low high roundhouse. So it's the same as the roundhouse. You already know that skill. Susie's gonna show us the roundhouse. She brings her knee across her body. Ex toes are pointed. She extends out, retracts back, and sets it down. All right, so roundhouse is beautiful. Um, you're striking with the top or the insoles of your feet. Uh, make sure when you make contact, your toes are tight, because if you're not, it hurts your toes or it hurts your foot. So the tighter your tissue is around your bones when you make connection with whatever you're doing, kicking, breaking, the less pain you're gonna have. So if you're floppy and relaxed, you're gonna feel that reverberation into your joints and it's gonna hurt a lot more. Have you ever done that? Yes, ma'am. It hurts it hurts. <laughs> Especially are. if you have any power whatsoever, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so as you do this, you're gonna chamber in. You'll notice her hands stay above her waist. She's gonna pull her hip across her body. She's gonna extend low. She's gonna bring the knee all the way back to the, to the glute. Then she's gonna extend as high as she can and then bring it back and set it down. That is the technique of your low high roundhouse. I'm gonna have her do it for us a little faster. Ready? Hi! Hi! And again. Hi! Hi! What makes Susie's kick so beautiful is that she has good retractions and chambers. A lot of times people will forget to retract in between the kicks and it becomes more like a kick swoosh. And it's not what it is. We're not, we're not celebrating um, uh, any sports team. <laughs> So I want you to really pay attention as you do that, that you're gonna kick, retract all the way to the hamstring or your glute, and go all the way up as high as you can. Okay, here we go, ready. Hi! Kick, retract, Hi. kick. And you'll notice she squeezes for half a second when she's up in the top of that roundhouse, which is beautiful. That is very Pumse. <laughs> that is for her Pumse kicks. I wouldn't have her do it any other way. For sparring, we want sparring is gonna be a little bit messier because her job is to get in and get out and get her foot on, back on the ground as fast as she can so that when, so she doesn't get kicked. So, all right, here we go. I love that boom say, don't take that out, but I just had to make sure they knew what that was. Okay, ready? Hi! Good, and again. Hi! Hi! Good. Now, how do you get a kick like that? That's the hard part, so I'm gonna answer that for you right now. We're gonna start with a couple of drills. Susie's gonna come over here to the side. She's gonna work on one drill where she brings her knee up and she's gonna go low, retract and lift the knee, high, retract, drop to low, retract and lift the knee, high, and retract. And this is what she practices on, okay? You can also have, and as she does it, I want you to pay attention that she doesn't have her shoulder stays up, her hand, elbow stays tucked into her kidneys. So as she's here, this is a great position, okay? She also is looking at her target. She's gonna kick out, retract, and go up high. Now, three's right there. You'll notice that she drops her shoulders down just a little bit, but she is still in alignment. Shoulder, hip, ankle, thank you. It's important for you to keep that in mind. Never drop the arm. Go up again, extend. Now, if she's here and her arm drops forward, her, see how her alignment just dropped and see how her kick just dropped. That's exactly what happens. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah. It drags your whole body down. So as you'll notice, she's gonna keep that shoulder back all the time. She's always gonna have some tightness back behind her shoulder blades. So she's gonna kick, her elbow stays there, her shoulder stays there, she retracts, and she's good to go. All right, so we're gonna do this drill. You're gonna do 10 of them, low and high. Okay, it's a really good drill for you to work on. This works on your flexibility. I mean, works on your strength, not necessarily your flexibility. Ready? Hana. Do. Se. Ne. Pase. Yase. Eldo. Yado. Aho. Yo. Good job. So doing 10 of those on each side every day will definitely increase your skills and your success as a multiple kicker. All right, one other drill that you can do too is she goes into that chamber, she brings it up. Now as she does that, I'm gonna support this knee and she's gonna kick up. 
and I'm gonna support, I'm gonna help give that knee just a little bit of a support and I'm gonna push it up. She's gonna tell me when to stop. Okay, and she can push again. There's a lot of ways to get flexibility, all right? And she can push against me, and then she can relax. She can push against me, and she can relax, and that's gonna give her a lot more height. And never drop their leg from that height because you can tear some muscle tissue. So you'll notice that I put my elbow there, I mean my hand there, and she'll bend her knee and then she can drop it on her own. That way I can keep her from being injured. So take care of your partners as you guys work with your partners. It makes a big difference. So if you can get a partner to do this with, you're always gonna have more success because you're always more accountable when you're doing with somebody else, which makes you more successful. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna practice that low high side kick five on each side. We didn't do the other side, did we? Let's switch sides. So we're gonna do the low high side 10 times on the other side. Ready? Hana, duo, set, Net, Tase, Yase, Elto, Yato, Aho, Kyo. Good. Thank you for doing that with us. Please make sure you do those. If you didn't do it with us, rewind it, do it again. In fact, you should rewind it anyway. Even if you did, do it 10 times on each side, several times. You'll get a lot better, a lot better faster. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's a good skill for you to be practicing on your own. There's a lot of great tools that you can use to make you a better black belt. All right, you ready for the kick? Yes, ma'am. Okay, here we go. We're going to do five on each side. Ready? Hana. Hi. Do. Hi. You kicking high? Set. Hi. Reset in between. Net. Hi. Toss it. Hi. Good job. Pay attention to your tempo. Work on getting tempo like Susie's, and then you get comfortable with it, you can get it going a little faster. Also, really pay attention. Do it in the mirror. Videotape yourself. Have someone videotape you. And as you do that, if you're videotaping, you'll notice if you're dropping your knee or not, or you'll notice what your alignment is. It always makes it easier to fix things. Ready? Hana. Hi. Duo. Hi. Sad. Hi. Ned. Beautiful. We all want to have kicks look just like that. Well done, Susie. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Of course. Do you have anything you'd like to recommend that would help us to have better round, low high roundhouse kicks? Uh, just like Master Sorensen said, uh, once you have the basic te technique down and the footwork, uh, try to speed it up a little bit because you want this kick to flow, not to look blocky at all. So, good. Very good. Okay, guys, keep at it. Keep being awesome. Practice, practice, practice. That's practice makes perfect. Actually, practice makes permanent, so make sure you're practicing well. <laughs> All right, keep being awesome. Cheerio. Kunya.